What's going on guys? It was on the back again and today I've got a tool review for you. I've got two cases here. We're talking about some battery powered ratchets. So I've got two Zane D 3 ace ratchets here. This one is a 12 volt. And this Zane D here is an 18 volt. So I picked up this one initially and then I went to order this one again and I got this one. So I said, well, one says it's 18 volt, one says it's 12. They look identical, as you can see. The only difference that I see is there's an on-off button on the 12 volt model here on the side. Aside from that, they look the same. Pop your battery in. Take your direction just like it would on any other ratchet. Squeeze the trigger. A little battery life indicator here. Now they do sound a little bit different. Um, this is the 18 volt model, 12 volt model. Now I've used both of these, they both work really well. Um, now as far as size comparison, the 18 volt's a little bit larger as far as the body itself. It's the 12 volt here, which is a little bit larger for length wise. But the real question is, is this really 12? Is this really 18? Or do they just say they are? So I got my handy little voltmeter here. We're going to do a quick test to find out what the true voltage is on these batteries and the tool. Got to set for DC voltage. Now this is the 12 volt battery here. It's polarity terminals. Eleven point nine four. All right. So I'd say that's kind of twelve volts. Here's the 18 volt. Polarity terminals again. Twelve point one nine. These in the company obviously selling the same thing, two different packages. One says 12, one says 18, and they're both 12 volts. In fact, let's find out if the, the battery from this one works in this one. Say, well, three wheels has got plenty of voltage. All right, let's find out if the 12 volt battery works in the 18 volt model, even though we just checked the batteries and saw what the voltage was. on the ratchet. So this is very similar to an air ratchet or a pneumatic ratchet as far as the operation of it. 
or any other ratchet for that matter. You've got a L and an R here. This one has an F and an R. So there's a F for forward and an R for reverse. So you just twist that to adjust whichever direction you want to go and squeeze the trigger. And this particular bottle on the 12 volt has an on off switch. On the 18 volt model, it's just got the trigger, battery indication there. Green means full, yellow getting low, and red, the battery need, is depleted or near depletion needs to be recharged. So side by side comparison, you can see the electric motor in this one. It's completely covered on this model. That's on the sides. Now, interestingly enough, the F and the R on the 12 volt model are engraved, and this one's painted on. So the charging, or the battery inserts into the bottom of these, basically the same battery, same lower housing. So in the case you receive your ratchet, two batteries, a charger and a couple sockets, 12 millimeter and a 14 millimeter. A little instruction booklet with more tools, I guess, from this company. Basically, just shows you how to plug in the battery and charge it. It's pretty simple. Uh, one thing I will mention you plug the charger into the battery, you don't plug it into the tool. Plugged in right there is a little DC plug wire which goes right in there. Kind of like a laptop or anything else. As far as functionality, they do work well. I've used them for removing all different kinds of parts already. I've used most of the both the 12 and the 18 volt model. Seem to get the job done well. And for the price, really can't beat it. I picked these things up for about $25 to $35 each. So, as far as it being cordless and it's compact, you can get into tight spaces, it works really well. So anyway, pretty much did this video, so if you see the 18 volt model and think, oh, I need the 18 volt instead of the 12, it doesn't make a difference. They're the same thing. Fortunately, I actually paid less for the 18 than I did for the 12, but wanted to go ahead and get both of them so you guys can see the difference, because there's really a negligible difference. Just the body of the 18 volt is a little bit bigger than the 12 volt, but the Tool itself works the same and does the same job. This is Thrill Wilson and Block. My name is Erwin. Be sure to check out the other videos on the channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.